Hey guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 1187. Guys, if you're following along on YouTube, please jump on over to the wilddoc.com. Check out all of our full length videos. That's where we house them. Tonight, we're talking about when should we uh, kind of toss or get rid of the shoes, right? And the funny thing about this is this should never be an issue uh, in the CrossFit community because we like to get all the newest gear uh, there is possibly out there. It's kind of like a fisherman with new lures, right? There's always new ones to buy. And uh, it seems like we never actually get the life out of our shoes that we need to get or that we can get because they're always replaced by the next new edition. But here's some things to keep in um, to keep in mind and just a couple things that I'm going to brief through. Uh, if you're a person, you're like, ah, maybe I need to get new shoes. If you're a person that doesn't buy every new edition and you might be thinking, oh, maybe I need to get new ones. This is uh, some things to consider because, you know, I think for... I, I think I speak for a lot of people. My favorite shoe is still the Nano 2, right? I had actually a couple of these. Uh, I, I've had a couple of them um, made when I had the custom ones done. And then, of course, we got uh, the Metcon, uh, I believe, yeah, this is the Metcon 3, right? That I haven't even worn yet, brand new. Uh, I'm going to throw it on one of these days. But, um, some things to consider when you're like, oh, should I be changing out my shoe? First and foremost, you want to look at the overall integrity of the shoe, right? So is there any holes or anything like that? Any Anything that can cause injury because of it, okay? Second thing you want to do is flip it over and look at the wear pattern. Obviously, a brand new shoe, no wear pattern at all, right? These shoes I've had for a good while now, right? And you'll notice that the outside portion of the heel starts to rub off and you also get a little bit of some up, uh, some wear up here right this is not that bad yet right so if you look at it in this direction you could see that there's not a large portion of that wear pattern gone right um, and it hasn't disfigured the shoe at all so I would say that this is still okay because um, because it, it's not going to alter your gait, so to speak. You see this big chunk get taken out sometimes uh, with uh, people's gaits and whatnot. And that itself can alter the shoe, right? This one you don't have to worry about. So number one is overall shoe, in uh, shoe integrity. Is there any holes, this and that, right? Number two is, is the wear pattern of the heel and the forefoot. Make sure that the wear pattern hasn't altered the actual configuration of the shoe. If it is, it's time for it to go. And the last thing I want you guys to look at is, is kind of like almost common sense, but here's what it is. When you look at this, and this is the, the part that is probably the, the worst on, on this shoe just because I've worn it for so long, is I want you to go th go into the insole itself and see, does it still have resilience to it? Can you press it down? And you can see that this sucker right here is about paper thin, right? If you look at it right like that, paper thin. Now, of course, these shoes are made differently. Uh, the Nikes are a little bit different, so they're, they're this one's much thicker as it is. But when you pull this sucker out, right, you can see how much thicker it is. But since it's brand new, there's a lot of squish to this, right? Now, people go back and forth to whether you want a lot of that cushion or not. And that's a, that's a, a story for a different time. But no matter what it is, is when it starts to when it finishes, we still need to have resilience in that, uh, not only for protection, but also for cushioning to a certain extent when you are when you uh, hit the ground, uh, whether you're doing your lifts, your box jumps, or anything else that you're gonna do, right? Um, um, and besides just the resilience of the insole, we wanna take a look at the resilience of the outer sole. And again, this is gonna vary from shoe to shoe, but it's a good uh, um, idea to be able to look at this and see does it still have the resilience that it had when it began. I'm not asking you to go ahead and do it beforehand but you would you get a good idea as if it starts to dry rot or if it has nothing in it at all even this harder nike shoe still has some sponginess to it right um and also does this so when the shoes become super worn out and super dry rotted themselves and they just offer no protection to the foot it's time to get rid of them so just a couple quick tips this is no means an in-depth um uh, interview for or in-depth in uh, examination of these shoes uh, but I had some questions that came through as when is it time to get new shoes so this is my my best uh, attempt at giving you guys some great information make sure you look at the overall configuration make sure that there's no abrasions or anything like that that uh, it could cause you 
Sorry about that, got cut out a bit for a second. Like I said, make sure there's no large abrasions in the shoe that's gonna cause anything uh, to become dangerous there. Make sure that uh, the wear patterns haven't become so deep that they actually could change the uh, change and alterate your, your gait patterns and make sure there's still resilience to the materials that are in there, right? So the insole and the outer sole still needs to have resilience, um, still needs to be pliable, still needs to be able to be uh, flexible and whatnot, okay? So hope this helps you guys out. Um, and um, hey, why not? We're CrossFitters, so when in doubt, just buy a new pair of shoes anyway, right? Uh, guys, questions, comments, post them below. And until tomorrow, we're optimizing function to optimize performance.